What's up guys? It's Matt from RC Overload here and uh, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I've had a video out um, but I wanted to take a little time off, uh, spend time with the family over the holidays and uh, work on my new forum I got going on my website. Uh, so now that the holidays are over and the forum's up and running, it's now time to get back to a little bit of fun. Now today I kind of wanted to just start off with a part that I got in for Christmas, uh, which is the RC four-wheel drive side bars or rock rails uh, that I got for the Axel SCX-10. Now, I haven't even opened these yet. Uh, I've been anxious. I've been waiting like a week or so, and uh, I finally have a day where I can shoot a video, put it on the car, and show you guys. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Um, I do want to apologize real quick here. I know my voice sounds a little bit funny. Uh, I've been dealing with a cold the past few days. So if I squeak or I start sounding like Donald Duck, feel free to make fun of me. You have my permission. <laughs> All right. Um, now that I'm finally on camera, I can open these things. I'm so excited about these. Um, why? because they are full steel, hand welded pieces of metal. Instead of the plastic, cheap ones, I consider them cheap, that come stock on the Axel SCX-10. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Pretty sweet. Um, they are, by the looks of it, and I was reading online saying they are hand welded, and um, hardened steel construction, supposedly corrosion resistant, that probably means until you scratch the paint off of it then it might start corroding. But that's fine with me because that's just another scale look to it. Shows that it's actually getting warm. So I'm excited. I want to put these on and uh, without further ado, let's get started. So. First things first, take the body off. Now it's time to get rid of these the cheap plastic ones that are way too thick. Alright, <clears throat> I'll kind of show you guys here. Alright, these are the stock ones. These are the new ones. Get an idea. Significantly thinner, and uh, it's going to have more of an upwards angle, so it won't get hung up as much. And it looks like it's going to stick a little closer to the body, which is a cool thing. Give you a little more ground clearance and uh, less obstructive when you're going over obstacles. So, <clears throat> first things first, need some tools. Move the screws that hold the outer set on. Okay. Now we can slide right out of the holders. Come on. And away it goes. Now we're left with the two mounts um, that are being screwed in. Now the lower control arms are part of that screw. Okay. So you're going to need to take uh, make sure that that control arm goes back in, otherwise you're going to be running into problems. So, let's, uh, let's get this mount out of the way. Okay. Just take that screw off, and that screw off. Now we're going to leave everything attached just to make it easier. Okay. Make sure everything lines up. Okay. Now we're going to take the longer screws here, the ones that went into the old setup. We're going to put those in first just to support it in there. Okay. Grab my gun. Ok, 
Okay. And do that to the front. Okay. Next step is to put those little brackets back on that hold the wire. Wires. Wires. Not wire. Wires. Boy, my voice is really messed up today. It wasn't this bad yesterday. to catch. But why is that? Is it because it's not long enough? It's possible. It is very possible. I may not be able to use those. You know, it worked perfectly. The other one. Awesome. So now all I have left to do is get the upper links to go back into place. So we're going to do one at a time, okay? Uh, so, put that back on. <coughs> Oop, drop it. Start with the pliers. So now that I got that line back up, going screw it in. Oh, 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 I'm having major difficulties here. This is always the fun part. Okay, so it's grabbed it. A little more. I'm actually going to now grab it with the pliers. And now we got issues. Alright, I'm going to do this off camera so I'm not wasting your guys' time. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get the nut to grab the screw before it goes all the way through. Otherwise, it's not going to tighten. It's just going to grab everything and pinch it all together before that nut gets tight on that. So, I'm going to do that off camera here, real quick, alright? Alright guys, um, so I got them on, uh, as you can see, pretty sweet, uh, unfortunately I was not able to get the rest of the installation on video, uh, I ran into a few more problems with difficulties just trying to get the nut to hold the upper control arm on, as well as trying to find some more screws. Um, I'll show you guys here a little bit of better close up, okay, so there's the actual rock rail. Um, now the screws I'm talking about is this, these two, the inner ones, okay? Those two, uh, you're going to need to find spares from your kit. The reason why I say that is because these are, let me see if I can get my hand to focus. Those are the screws that normally go in there. Those screws actually hold the brace in onto the frame. Okay, so it's not like you can go without it. Those screws are not long enough to compensate for the extra width of the bar here. So you are going to need to come up with two longer screws. Um, uh, four, I should say, for both sides. Okay. Now I have two different sets of screws in, uh, just because I am still using 
that to hold the wire in place. Okay. So, other than having some difficulties just trying to put the screw, the nut in uh, for the upper link, and just trying to find four new screws to mount this properly, uh, it's actually very simple. Um, but again, I do apologize for not getting the installation on camera. So, now that we have them on, I'm curious to see what it looks like with the body on. Look at that. It barely takes up any space. Okay. Try to get this up a little bit closer for you guys. Now, I brought the light really close up here so you, you guys could see things a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a bit more ground clearance. Looking down. And it's right up against the body. It's nice. You know, it's not... Uh, it's not too prominent, but you know it's there. So, uh, let me actually put it on the stand so I can do a 360 with it. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, hey, I got the new stand. Might as well use it, right? Okay. So, 360. As you can see, it doesn't really stick out. So it's nice. Now I don't have the body fully mounted in position here. Uh, so it is off a little bit. But it looks pretty sweet. So I'd say all in all these are definitely worth it. Um, it definitely will allow for some more ground clearance uh, versus the big old bulky ones that we had in there. So next step is probably going to be getting the JK front bumper and putting that on there with the uh, winch if I don't decide to do a few other little things in the meantime. So, let's say that's that for today guys. Um, again, sorry I couldn't get it on video, the installation, uh, but they are pretty straightforward. Just remember, make sure to get four new screws and uh, you should be good to go. So until next time guys, see you later.